Hi, this is Ajit here. We are here to find the views and opinions of the professionals in Dubai. Today, we have one of the best chartered accountant in UAE and Oman, three James Matthew with us. Let's listen to him. With effect from 1st January 2018, we have the value added tax in place. That has opened the door for chartered accountants and accounting professionals, not just accounting professionals, IT and other related professionals to come into Dubai because that's an opportunity for them. How does this opportunity come? We have around 350,000 plus companies in the United Arab Emirates registered with the different free zones and economic departments in the UAE. Out of that, 50% of the companies do not maintain proper books of accounts because there is no need for them to maintain books of accounts. It's not mandatory at all. Now that the VAT has come in, all of them have to maintain proper books. They have to file their returns. So then there is a need for people to come in. So that it is justified to that extent that professionals can find job here. But coming to the VAT aspect, there are complexities in business which is being done in the UAE. In India, it's a, it's a market, more of domestic market. In Dubai, it's an international market. For example, a customer comes from one country, say Libya. He purchases from customer A, customer B, customer C. He puts across everything into a, uh, onto a you know, shipper and takes the goods away. There are complexities because there, are, uh, the, the, there is a customer, there is a seller, there is uh, the shipper. The point I'm just trying to drive is that these complexities is something which someone has to understand it properly. If they are able to match, and if they are able to deliver that sort of a result, I think there is a need for more and more professionals to come in and service delivery is very, very important. After the global financial crisis in 2008 and 2009, I think 2013 brought in a new zeal of energy and enthusiasm for Dubai and the United Arab Emirates. When Dubai was declared as the host city for Expo 2020, it's estimated that 25 million people will be visiting United Arab Emirates during that six months period. Then they are on, fully on track on the infrastructure, the metro lines and the buildings there at the expo site. Now, take another dimension to the VAT, value added tax. Last three, four months we could see that lots of companies who were not very serious in doing the business. They have been operating here for many years, have started liquidating their companies. More and more serious companies are coming into the market. If you look at the financial uh, assistance extended by the banks to the SMEs, I must say it is around 6% of the total money lent is only given to the SME sector, which is around 80-85% of the total companies in the United Arab Emirates is SMEs. Why are the SMEs not getting the money from the banks? Because lack of transparency, lack of maintaining proper books of accounts. If you read between the lines, in the times to come, you will have more and more companies, they are falling in line, complying with the regulations of uh, the, the maintaining proper books of accounts. And your history and credit history is being built, more and more banks will start lending money to the small and medium sector enterprises, SMEs and the market is growing because of as I said before on the Expo 2020, you will find opportunity for more and more genuine companies to come into Dubai and establish their business and to do the business.
Build your brand globally. Make your venture a success. Unique Times. Premium Business Lifestyle Magazine.